Xavier Woods may not strike you as a typical wrestler. He doesn't have the usual look, has an extensive background in education, and even runs a huge gaming channel on YouTube. However, Woods has proven that he belongs in the WWE over the past few years. Here is Wrestling Origins Xavier Woods. Austin Watson was born on September 4th, 1986 in Columbus, Georgia. Austin says that he was a very socially awkward child who used music to connect with others, namely his father. He also says that he grew up in a rough neighborhood that was filled with gangs and other illegal activity, but his parents always kept him on the right path. Austin has been a huge fan of video games all his life, and he is a self-proclaimed nerd. He liked wrestling of course, but as a kid, it seems that gaming was his true passion. Watson would attend Sprayberry High School where he took up amateur wrestling along with things like choir and band. Austin was actually a pretty decent wrestler, one of the best in his school, and said that he had a rivalry with this kid from another local school named Cody Rhodes. Austin said he once wrestled two weight classes up so that he could compete against Cody Rhodes in hopes that he could impress his father, Dusty Rhodes, as he had this grand plan that ended with Dusty taking him under his wing and making him into a superstar. However, despite his best efforts, Cody defeated Austin when they finally met up, which only spurred their rivalry. After graduating from high school in 2004, Watson would attend Furman University in South Carolina, where he studied psychology and philosophy. He would eventually graduate with a master's degree in psychology and a bachelor's degree in philosophy, and on top of that, he's attempting to get his PhD in the present day. In 2005, Austin began learning to wrestle alongside his studies, and soon after, he began to wrestle part-time. He would make his debut at Ultimate Christian Wrestling after being trained by its owner, Rob Adonis. He would soon develop a character named Austin Creed who was heavily influenced by Apollo Creed from the Rocky movies. Creed would spend some time in NWA Anarchy where he became the longest reigning tag team champion with Hayden Young, and in 2007 would become the first Deep South Heavyweight Champion after the promotion split from WWE. In 2007, Austin Creed would debut in TNA where he teamed with Ron Killings, but instead under the name Rashid Lucius Consequences Creed. Consequences Creed would officially sign with TNA on October 21st, 2007, but wouldn't appear on TV for a while as his partner Ron Killings was amidst contract disputes. When Creed appeared in 2008, he would quickly land himself a shot at P.D. Williams for the X Division Championship, but he lost. He would get more shots later on, but Sheikh Abdul Bashir would defeat him twice. In late 2008, Creed would join a faction known as The Frontline that also featured Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Jay Lethal, and P.D. Williams to name a few. As part of The Frontline, Creed would win the World Tag Team Championships with Jay Lethal. The two, who became known as Lethal Consequences, would only hold their titles for three days, as Robert Roode and James Storm won them back. The pair would try to win them back to no avail, and Creed failed to capture the X Division title too. During that ladder match for the belt, Creed would slam his head hard on the mat, which caused him to visibly vomit during the match. In 2010, Consequences Creed would participate in New Japan Super J Tag Tournament with partner Kota Ibushi, but they were eliminated in the first round. He would return to NJPW for the odd match, most notably making it to the second round of the J Sports Crown Openweight Six Man Tag Tournament, where he was eliminated by a team led by Shinsuke Nakamura. On July 22, 2010, Austin Watson signed a developmental contract with WWE. He would compete under his real name in Florida Championship Wrestling, making his debut just a week later in a tag team match with Percy Watson, but lost to Brodus Clay and Donnie Marlowe. He soon became known as Xavier Woods, and would begin racking up wins as a tag team with Wes Briscoe. The two would eventually win the FCW Tag Team Championships, but were forced to vacate after Briscoe was injured. Woods would develop over the next couple years in FCW as a singles competitor. WWE would eventually rebrand FCW to NXT in 2012, and Woods would continue working as a singles wrestler there as well. He began incorporating 90s pop culture into his character, adding things like the Power Rangers and Dragon Ball Z into his attire and wrestling style, though would drop it when he made it to the main roster. Speaking of that, Xavier Woods would debut on Raw on November 13th, 2013. He tagged with former TNA partner R-Truth to defeat 3MB in his debut. He would next feud with Tons of Funk, eventually winning after a series of both singles and tag team matches. Woods wouldn't really do much the next little while though. 
He competed and lost in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, lost to Alexander Rusev before separating from R-Truth, and failed to win both the US and Intercontinental Championships. In July of 2014, on Raw, Xavier Woods would align himself with Kofi Kingston and Big E, forming the stable that would become known as the New Day. The stable would silently separate however before being formally reintroduced to the WWE Universe a few months later as the New Day. Now, I've already covered the history of the New Day in my Wrestling Origins Big E video, so if you want to know more about them, check it out. Long story short, the New Day would become the longest reigning tag team champions in WWE history by holding the belts for 483 days before losing them to Cesaro and Sheamus, and have failed to win them back thus far. I should also mention that Austin has a huge gaming channel here on YouTube called Up Up Down Down, where he notably features other wrestlers playing games with and against him. It's actually pretty entertaining, so if you like wrestling and like video games, it might be something you want to check out. And that was Wrestling Origins, Xavier Woods. If you enjoyed this video, then maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe for another episode of Wrestling Origins every Friday. Also, if I left anything out you think was important, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.